Stop by and see JR today at Midwest Sports Center in Farmington. Well, back here on Regional Radio, we now have a very special guest joining us on the phone. Mark Wills, the headlining act for the Washington County Fair on Saturday night. Join us. Mark, how you doing? I'm doing good, brother. How you doing? Good. I'm doing awesome. So you excited for the concert Saturday night? Yeah, man. We just actually left Missouri last night. We were uh, in eminence, played the, uh, the trail ride. And so uh, it was a private show, and so we're looking forward to uh, to being up there with you guys uh, this coming up Saturday. So you just left Missouri, you said? Well, yeah, we played played Missouri last night. We played this thing called the uh, the Trail Ride, uh, and it's a, like a private show uh, for just their their folks. So we were there last night, and then we're on our way to Texas to play on Friday night, and then we're backtracking and coming right back to Missouri again. So we're looking forward to it. So you're all over the place then. We are, we are. It's been a, uh, it's been a good summer. We've been running back and forth and uh, and having some great shows. We had a great show last night, and uh, looking forward to uh, to seeing you guys on Saturday. How long have you been on tour now? Uh, well, throughout my career or throughout this year? Uh, throughout just this tour, this leg of the tour. Yeah, we've uh, we've only been we've only been on it about five days. We uh, we had pretty much the entire month of July off. Which made uh, which made it nice to kind of spend a little bit of time with uh, with the kids in the summer, uh, and then uh, and we kick back up toward the end of, uh, of July. So we've been in we've been involved for about a week now. So your debut album, your self titled debut album, Mark Wills, was released just over twenty years ago now, earlier this summer. Talk about your journey from then till now. Well, you know, everybody thinks I'm the uh, everybody thinks I'm the old guy, uh, and in reality, I'm uh, you know I'm forty two. Uh, we have been we've been running around the country since I was 22, and uh, you know we we still still love the music. I mean, still represent the music as well, if not better than we did in the beginning, and uh, and that's been something that we've you know it's been something that I have truly um, you know been proud of. I mean, the the number one the number one deal for me is to you know have musical integrity, and that means what I mean by that is to sing the songs, uh, for people to, you know, to recognize the songs like they heard them on the radio, uh, for the band to play them, uh, the licks to be there, uh, you know, and, and for us just to have fun with them and enjoy entertaining the fans. And that's what, uh, that's what we've been doing. That's what we're looking forward to doing this coming weekend. You mentioned that you're 42, but you're not going to be 42 for too much longer. You're actually celebrating right. a birthday coming up. You're right. I'll be 43, uh, on the, on August 8th. So, uh, so it's uh, it's it's sneaking up on me. You got anything fun planned? No, man. I'm gonna gonna play the show with you guys, and then I'm gonna go home and uh, and spend a little bit of time with my girls. Uh, we have my my oldest daughter graduated this past June, and my uh, youngest daughter starts eighth grade this year. So I'm gonna get them uh, get her squared away with school going, and then uh, we're gonna head back out on the road and play some more music. So is that your first going to college then? Well, actually, my my daughter's not going to college. She's actually going to work. She had a, uh, a she's she's had a job that she's been very interested in, pretty much her whole life. And uh, she uh, she was fortunate enough to uh, audition and get that job. And so she is going to be going to work for at least a year before she uh, before she starts into college. That's awesome! Congratulations. Yeah, she's uh, she's looking forward to it. All right, so you haven't released any new music in quite a while. Should fans be anticipating any new music? Are you working on anything? We have been in the studio working on some new music. Uh, we released a thing to Canada last year, and uh, we've continued to work on some of the new stuff that myself and the guys in my band are actually playing on. Instead of using a studio band, uh, instead of uh, you know doing it the way uh, that it seems like a lot of the a lot of the music that's come out of Nashville for the last. 25 or 30 years has been and there's nothing wrong with that i mean it's just we're we're looking at the guys in the uh in the in the band the traveling band playing on the record which i think kind of gives it a little different personality it'll allow the uh the guys who are playing the songs night after night to actually be showcased on the record so it's going to be a live album no it's not going to be a live album it's still going to be a you know in the studio album it's just going to be um, it, it's going to be the guys who play it night after night. It's the the road band playing. It. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Do you have a time frame on to when that will be released? Not really. Okay. Just kind of letting it go as it goes. This year, 
could be late this year, could be early next year. All right, sounds good. Uh, all right, so like I said before, we're speaking with Mark Wills. He's performing Saturday night at the Washington County Fair. What's your favorite pre-performance meal? Is there something that you always eat before you go on stage? Man, I don't eat anything before I go on stage because it, <laughs> I get out there and get to burping. <laughs> and that's and that's never a good thing. You know, I do or burp, cherish. You know, that's not, that's not a good thing. So, uh, so I, I typically don't eat much of anything before the show. We'll we'll grab something afterwards, or uh, you know, or I'll eat lunch. You know, later in the day, not not right before showtime. Um, you know, it, light is always better before the show. Yeah, you get, definitely have to have at least a little something earlier in the day, just because you don't want to be passing out under the lights and sweating like that. Absolutely. We uh we just came in from uh like I said from Eminence last night and man it was so hot and so humid and uh I took my I took my stuff out of the bus this morning and even after laying on the bus all night long I was still soaking wet and I was like, Man, that's that's when that's when you know that you've had a good show the night before when everything's all soaking wet and you're uh and you're you're eleven hours later. All right, so if you could go perform with any artist, country, not country, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Oh, man, that's that's a tough one. I mean, you know, I would have to go with, like, somebody like Keith Whitley or uh, or Elvis, um, you know, because I never got to do, you know, shows with either one of them. I mean, there's a lot of great musicians out there. You know, I was fortunate enough in my early career, uh, in the early days, I got to travel with Martina and do a whole year with her, uh, travel with George Strait, uh, and did a whole year with him. So, you know, so, so I, I was, I was lucky, uh, in the early days to get to travel and, and play with, you know, with pretty much, in, you know, the, the folks that I wanted to, I mean, like in today's world, I would love to do a, a, a leg of the Garth tour just to say, you know, that we were able to do that. But, um, but if I had to, but if I had to go with you know alive or dead or something like that, it would have to be an Elvis or uh, you know or a Whitley, just because I'm a huge fan of both of theirs. Can't go wrong with either of those two. Mark, been a blast talking to you. Really nice getting a chance to sit down and have a conversation with you. I look forward to meeting you in person at the Washington County Fair Saturday night. Absolutely, brother. It's going to be a good time. Sean, thanks for having us on, and we'll. Uh... We'll see you there. All right. We'll see you there, too. That's Mark Wills. He's the headlining act for the Washington County Fair. He'll be performing Saturday night. Coco O'Connor will be opening up for him. I'll be there, too, broadcasting live as well as introducing Mark on stage. Let's play one of Mark's hit songs, but arguably his biggest song, definitely my favorite by him, Mark Wills, 19-something, taking you way back here on the boot. Star Wars at least eight times Had the Pac-Man pattern memorized And I've seen the stuff they put inside Stretch Armstrong, yeah I was Roger Staubach